Imagine being homeless in a matter of seconds. Take a look at this damage right here. The car in the picture crashed into a home so hard it caused the foundation to move, meaning the woman needs serious help. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy spoke to her about the dire situation she's in now. It's overwhelming, very much so overwhelming, and it's depressing because at the end of the day, I still have nowhere to call home. Precious Marshall has her back against the wall. This hole in her house caused by a car crashing into it while she was sleeping. I was very frightened. I jumped out the bed and hit the floor instantly because I thought the house was about to cave in. According to Marshall and police, the black Ford somehow missed two trees before crashing and wedging itself between the two houses on Asta Ave in Sylvan Hills. A neighbor I spoke with says she saw the driver run away. Due to the damage to Marshall's house, she has been homeless for four weeks. Georgia Power deemed the home non-livable, so they cut off the power and the gas and told me that I'm not allowed back inside the home. The fire department also deemed the house unsafe. I'm now in a situation with homeowners insurance trying to see if I could get temporary housing until they're done remodeling the home. But they told me that it's not included. Marshall told me police told her that the car was reported stolen and so as of now the car's insurer is not liable for any damages. A Red Cross provided assistance for a week. And after that, they told me there was nothing else that they were able to do for me. So now I'm going from place to place or sleeping in my car. It's not just Marshall who is now homeless. Her three, three-month-old puppies are also homeless. Those are like my babies. She says the homeowner's insurance company has been out to the house twice, but as of yet hasn't told her when the house will be fixed meaning she's having to endure the winter without a home. I don't, I don't really know the respectful way to put things other than please take my case more serious than what you are because I'm in a diehard situation right now. In an email to me, the homeowner's insurance company said that they do not discuss customers' claims publicly and that they will have someone reach out to Marshall. In Atlanta, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.